State College, where Illinois and Penn State begin their Big Ten quest on Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. Tonight, two top contenders for the Big Ten title meet. The undefeated number 12 Penn State Nittany Lions host the number two Illinois Fighting Illini. Perhaps the best offensive line in the Big Ten sets down in front of him, and they bring the end around immediately with Williams. They put it in number two's hands, and he has got almost nine yards on the first down end around. And Herbie, how about the impact players? They line Williams up in the backfield. Trying to get him some extra touches as they take Worcester out. They're going to swing it to number two, get him in a foot race with a defensive lineman, and he steps out of bounds. From the gun, dropping to Williams. Williams going to go for a big game. To midfield. What a great little move here in a mismatch between Derek Williams off to the left of your screen against Martez Wilson. He gives him a little fake to the outside. Wilson bites on it. Then he comes back underneath. And once Derek Williams makes a catch in, open, in the open field, he's going to make people miss, shake him, and get upfield for more yardage here for Penn State. Galen Hall was determined to get Williams some touches here tonight, and they're doing just that, lining him up as a running back into rounds. There he is again to the 44-yard line. Let's go to Matt. First and 10. Play fake. Clark with time. He's got a receiver. And Williams touchdown. This fun. He helped turn around the program. He helped turn around this entire program, Kirk. When he came, was recruited by Joe Paterno. He brought Justin King, and a lot of big timers have shown up since then. So it's third down and eight. Clark rolling hard to the right, throws for the first down. Picked it up again with another fine toss to Williams. He is the right tackle. He's a junior from New Jersey. Is the end around? Williams can walk in. First lead of the night. Derek Williams breakout game. Good after Completes the opening pass to Derek Williams, and let's check your attendance. 109th out, the largest crowd to watch a college football game this weekend. Michigan, because it's under construction, does not have the capacity they had last year. Let me just say what an honor it is here to be in the fourth quarter and have a, a game that's seven-point game. We're going to have some fun here. Bounces down to the seven-yard line, and here's Derek Williams, who's had a big night. Explodes the line. I've got to catch him if they can. Touchdown. Derek Williams, 94 yards. A breakout night for number two. Mr. Herb Street mentions a close game and big <laughs> now who's applying yeah, exactly. the drinks? Been waiting for you all night. <laughs> 94 yards. And the Nitty Lions back up by 14. The Valley's happy, real happy. seats wherever they can folks it's 31 17 Derek Williams second kickoff of return for a touchdown this year what a great job by not only Derek Williams but the blocks that they were able to pick up here 33 Lawler Corliss Schuler they take these three out and then look at the block right here that eventually
Beecham right here locks up on the kicker, and it gives him just enough room for Derek Williams to cut back to the inside and then the speed. What a night for the senior Derek Williams tonight for Penn State. Six now. Here comes Clark standing tall behind that offensive line. It's like a little short of that first down on the completion. Derek Williams. Williams has scored on a 21 yard reception, a five yard run, and a 94 yard kickoff return. Remember, he scored three different ways tonight. Should put him in the defensive backfield, see if he can pick one off. We have been coming into Happy Valley for years, but I'll tell you, it's spending time these last three or four years with Derek Williams, a guy that, Brent, as you mentioned, kind of got Joe Pa with Justin King and this program going again with that great recruiting class. He's kept his mouth quiet. He hasn't always been able to put up big numbers. Happy to see him have this night tonight. Yeah, it's real nice for him. There's Clark got a nice play fake. He's going to run for the first down. Got more than that. Got to midfield before he is finally bumped out of bounds. And that was Dante Hardeman seeing his first action as a backup safety. The Illinois 47. Go, go. And there's Williams again to the 31 yard line and a first down Nittany Lions. During his great career at Downingtown East High School as uh, he hands it off and here's a young man who's had a great game. Derek Williams. So the clock continues to run 107,000 and Kirk I think they're all still here. I don't think they're going to leave. Love when they do the wide out here. This is my favorite student section in the country. General admission seating. They show up two hours before the game. In fact, they show up Tuesday at Paternoville with the tents, and then they open up the gates a couple hours before kick, and they fill it in, <laughs> and they support the Lions so well. Man, they are they are the best. First, describe to me that that return touchdown that you had. Oh, it wasn't me at all. You know, the guy did a good job blocking. The whole thing I had to do was the easy call with running. You know, before we uh, before we broke out. We said we needed to make a play, and uh, you know, God bless him with the time to make that play. You are the only player in the Joe Paterno era to have a rushing, a receiving, and a return touchdown in the same game. What do you have to say about that? You know, it was amazing, but you know, like I said before, it wasn't me at all. You know, it was the guys up front, offensive line. Daryl Clark did a got good job, and you know, the kick return team did a great job on that play. All right, thanks a lot, and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much, Lisa, and our Chevrolet player of this game for Penn State Derek Williams 241 all-purpose yards it really has been those two fine touchdowns for the Illini in recognition of their effort Chevrolet will make a one thousand dollar contribution to each university's general scholarship fund so that ring brings down the curtain on Saturday night football on ABC we certainly hope you've enjoyed this opener of the Big Ten season as Penn State rallies in the first quarter to win and stay undefeated behind quarterback Daryl Clark. For Lisa Salters and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brent Musburger. For all of us on the crew, so long as the Valley is happy tonight, they win it 38-24.